What if I told you that Apple's most boring product is about to become its most important, the one that's been ignored for years, the Apple TV. For most people, it's just another black box that sits under the television, expensive, unnecessary, and forgotten. Because why spend over $100 when a Fire Stick or Roku does the same thing for a fraction of the price? For years, Apple's streaming box has been the best in class that almost nobody wanted. The remote was awkward. The software was fine. The experience was good, but not good enough to matter. Apple sold it, but never made you need it. But everything is about to change. Inside Apple's headquarters, something bigger is brewing. Something that could turn this simple box into the centerpiece of your entire home. The new leaks about the 2025 Apple TV 4K aren't about small upgrades. They're about a total reinvention. This device isn't just going to play movies. It's going to run your home. It will see you, talk to you, and maybe for the first time, take gaming seriously. Let's start with the heart of it all, the chip. The current Apple TV 4K uses the A15 Bionic. It's fast, faster than anything Roku or Amazon can offer. But the next one is jumping straight to the A17 Pro, the same chip that powers the iPhone 15 Pro. Why does that matter? Because this isn't about faster menus or smoother scrolling. It's about intelligence. The A17 Pro has one of the most advanced neural engines Apple has ever made. That means AI, but not the kind that just follows commands. This is Siri that understands context. Imagine pausing a movie and saying, what other films is this actor in? And Siri instantly shows you, without leaving the app, or asking, what song is this? And it not only tells you, but adds it to your Apple Music playlist automatically. This is AI built into your living room. Fast, private, and seamless. No clothes processing. No luck. Just pure, on-device intelligence that feels invisible, like the tech is reading your mind. And then there's gaming. Apple has been trying for years to make gaming happen on its devices. They brought console-level titles to the iPhone. But nobody wants to play Resident Evil on a 6-inch screen. Now imagine that power in a box connected to your TV with real cooling and power to spare. That's what the A17 Pro allows. This is no longer just a streaming box. It's a console in disguise. The leaks point to Apple pushing serious gaming through Apple Arcade and the App Store. No subscription needed. We're talking 1080p, 60 frames per second, console-level graphics. It's not a PlayStation 5 killer, but it's a direct attack on the casual gaming market that Sony and Microsoft have ignored. And with Wi-Fi 7 support, streaming games or 8K content will be faster than ever. Low latency, high throughput, instant response. Apple is future-proofing this box for a world that doesn't even exist yet. But there's still one problem, the price. Apple's biggest weakness with the Apple TV has always been cost. At $130, it's too expensive for most people. And that's exactly why Apple's next move might shock everyone. For the first time, Apple is working on a cheaper model, a stick. Analysts like Ming-Chi Kuo and Mark Gurman both say a budget Apple TV Express is in the works. A small device you plug right into your TV, maybe $49 or $59, running on an older chip like the A15. No Ethernet. No frills. Just a fast, clean Apple experience for everyone. It's not for home theater enthusiasts. It's for bedrooms, college dorms, and parents' homes. It's the Trojan horse for Apple's real business, services. Apple doesn't just want to sell you a device. It wants to sell you subscriptions, Apple TV+, Plus, Apple Music, Apple Fitness+, Plus, Apple Arcade. That's where the money is. A $50 stick could flood millions of homes, bringing Apple's ecosystem to people who never bought into it before. And even if Apple loses money on the hardware, they win in the long run. Because every stick sold means more subscriptions and more control of your digital life. But this strategy opens a question. Apple hates being cheap. It dilutes their image. Would they really release a budget device that carries the same Apple logo as a $200 product? Maybe not. And that's where the next rumor gets fascinating. Because what if the cheaper Apple TV isn't a stick at all? What if it's a speaker? Reports from Bloomberg suggest Apple has been working on a hybrid, part Apple, TV, part HomePod, a single device that does everything. 
Think about it. TV speakers are usually terrible. This would fix that instantly, turning your Apple TV into a full sound system with spatial audio. Then add far-field microphones so you can just talk naturally, no remote, no yelling. Hey Siri, and it listens clearly, even from across the room. It becomes your smart home hub, your speaker, your media player, your assistant, all in one. This device could finally fix HomeKit too. Because let's be honest, Apple's smart home system has been confusing, limited, and unreliable. This new hybrid would change that. It would act as the brain of your home, managing lights, locks, cameras, and automation with ease. It's a soundbar, a streaming box, and a HomePod all-in-one. Analysts predict it could cost around $149. That's just a little more than the current Apple TV, but you get a premium speaker included. So now, Apple has a three-tier plan. A $59 stick for mass adoption. A $149 HomePod hybrid for the smart home crowd. And a $199 Pro box for serious users and gamers. Three devices. Three audiences. All built around one goal total control of your living room. But Apple still isn't done, because the biggest feature is also the most controversial. A built-in camera. It sounds creepy, right? A camera staring at you from under your TV. But Apple thinks it's time, and they might just pull it off. Amazon, Google, and Meta tried this before and failed because nobody trusted them. But Apple is betting everything on privacy. This new Apple TV camera would process everything locally. Nothing's sent to the cloud and it will have a physical shutter that automatically closes when not in use. A real, mechanical privacy shield. So why include a camera at all? Two reasons. Connection and control. First, FaceTime. Apple already allows you to FaceTime from your iPhone to your TV, but it's clumsy. A built-in camera changes everything. Now, you can call family and friends straight from your couch. No setup. No balancing your phone awkwardly on top of the TV. Second, fitness. Apple Fitness Plus becomes a whole new experience when the camera can see you. It can track your form, count reps, and guide your movements in real time. It turns your living room into a personal training studio. And that's just the start. Imagine SharePlay, watching a movie with friends while seeing their faces live in a window. Or gesture-based games, where your movements control the action on screen. It's a step toward the future where your devices don't just follow commands, they understand you. But all of this, the camera, the AI, the power, points to one deeper truth. This isn't a streaming box anymore. It's something much bigger. Apple is quietly turning the Apple TV into the brain of your digital home. A hub that runs your smart devices, processes your AI, and connects your physical and virtual worlds. The A17 Pro chip, gives it enough power to act as a local server for everything, even your Apple Vision Pro headset. Because let's face it, the Vision Pro is amazing, but you can't wear it all day. You take it off, and your house should still feel intelligent. That's where the new Apple TV comes in. It's the always-on device that keeps your home running smoothly. It maps your room, tracks your environment, and syncs seamlessly with the Vision Pro when you put it on again. It's the unseen engine of Apple's future, ambient computing. A world where your devices just know. Where your TV recognizes who walks in, changes profiles automatically, and suggests what you want to watch before you even ask. That's not science fiction anymore. That's Apple's real plan. Late 2025 is the expected release. Probably announced at Apple's traditional October event, right before the holidays. And when it arrives, the lineup could look like this. Apple TV Express Stick, $59. Apple TV Home Hybrid, $149. Apple TV Pro, $199. Three products, one goal, to quietly take over your living room. This isn't just a new streaming box. It's the beginning of something much bigger. Apple is building the foundation for the smart home of the future. One where AI lives in your living room, not on a cloud server. A device that sees listens, and thinks, but still protects your privacy. That's the balance only Apple can pull off. And honestly, this might be the smartest product strategy Apple has made in years. They're not chasing the fire stick. They're building T, a platform that connects your world, your home, your devices, your Vision Pro, and even your family.
It's the end of the streaming box and the beginning of Apple's new empire inside your living room. So what do you think? Would you trust the camera under your TV? If it's made by Apple, would you buy a $50 stick, a $150 smart speaker box, or the $200 Pro version? Let me know what you think down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, share it with a friend, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss what Apple is secretly planning next. Because this time, the future of Apple doesn't start on your phone. It starts in your living room.